Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is going to be another in the bank video. Now, as we can see here, we are fighting against the blue team, which is going to consist of Nautilus, Sona, Ramus, Ash, and Katarina going against the purple squad, which is Maokai, Caitlyn, Malphite, Chogaf. And me as Rengar. I'm going to start the video now. Now, for all you lovely people here that are here and enjoying the channel, In the Bank is a, is a YouTube playlist that is going to consist only of the greatest epic of matches, the comebacks, the, 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 or the epic of fails, of the throws, whatever you guys want to make it. It's all about the users on the people's stream but this is obviously not the stream this is a YouTube video um, all this does go down in my stream which is twitch screw you chick twitch.tv slash cash Bryant. that's where all the fun happens now every time there are like sometimes there are themes and things of that nature but every once in a while which is a lot of times I just play with the viewers. Um, I don't actually play too much rank. That's why my elo sucks. Um, but I am pretty knowledgeable. I probably can raise my rank, my elo pretty high. I probably will in season three. But for now, not really gonna worry about it. Now we see Katarina boots and pots, Ash boots and pots, Ramis cloth armor in pots. Sona with the support stuff, and the same thing with good old Nautilus. Their jungler actually is Ramis. Uh, and Nautilus will be playing top lane. Um, I will be top lane. We have Maokai mid. And we're going to have Cho in the jungle, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, he is. And Caitlyn and Mile fight bot lane. So that is how that is going to go. Now, if you do notice the title, I will be naming this Mufasa kill. And when I call it a Mufasa kill, when I play with Rengar on stream... Um, my goal is to get something called a Simba kill. When you, I, I just thought it would be really, really trollish and funny that since he is a lion, you know, when you get a Penta kill, you should be considered the king of the jungle, like the top dog, the 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 main lion, you know. So the main lion in the Lion King, um, throughout the whole uh, series, is Simba. Eventually, he does become the thing. I don't want to give you guys any spoilers. Mufasa dies, um, <laughs> but um, Simba does become top dog, and since when you're Rengar, if you want to become top dog, you have to kill everybody. Unfortunately, Simba does kill people, Disney. How could you? So, it's called a Mufasa kill. So, the way that it ranks up, if you get one kill, that is a Nyla. <laughs> if you get two kills, that is a Sarabi. Three kills is a Scar. Four kills is a Mufasa. And five kills is a Simba. So I want to get the Simba kill. I know some other people have Simba kills probably already. Um, if you have one that you got, uh, please send it in. I will uh, post the game. Like I said, it's not just for when I own. Right now, it's just me. I just need some content on the, the YouTube. So that's what it is. Now, the problem here, um, he is camping a lane. But this guy, I actually click him. You know, always click. He's going a support Nautilus up top. I don't really understand why he's doing this. And he's camping hard. Look at this camp. Our jungle is already level 3 while he's sitting here trying to camp me. Um, the problem with this is that against Rengar, or against any top laner to be honest, you don't, you don't, um, you, you, you just don't come up top with that little armor. That's like Soraka going up top against like any laner. It just won't happen. Now, I actually didn't know Ramus was chill chilling here this whole time. I do get a little wary when I'm starting to dominate the top laner, and I'm like, oh crap, he's going to definitely come gank me. Uh, but I didn't know he was chilling there the whole time, so he's trying his hardest to get a first blood. He's waiting for me to dive in a really bad position, and there goes the dive right there. Get the, the hit there, and I also get taunted. Double CC by Ramus. Now, I told him, I also told him, hey, I know they're going to come gank me. I'm dominating the top here. So I get a kill there. He's pretty easy. He's pretty squishy. Get another jump. I still have my flash. And I'm going to get a double kill right there. Pretty easy. Now, when you're dominating your lane, it's typical for the jungler to come to your lane. It's a pretty typical action. It, it, it's, um, it's just kind of wise. And what I like to call that is jungle control. When you have jungle control, it's pretty... Oh, my God. 
almost getting dunked there. Ooh, and that is a dunk. This nice little insurance just to get that. What I that's what I like to call uh, jungle control is when. Oh my god, and he just comes, and he dies there instantly. He has no armor. It's really unfortunate that he comes up top with no armor. Now, the level of skill of the people that we're playing with is always judgmental. Um, I think everyone in here are level 30s, except good old JSL, who happens to not be a level 30. So, he actually might bring in the normal wind elo down a little bit. So, you know, that's not really my fault, balls. I have about 600 or so wins, going on 700 wins on my account. So, when I play, I play against pretty good people. Um, and this might be ra making everyone rage and things of that nature and that does suck um i actually don't remember how long nautilus um he just he's just if you come up top against rengar with no armor you're gonna have a bad time i don't actually play ap rengar i don't like um i don't like it i don't like the idea of it that you know all his other moves are ad um and people are just walking around wing and stuff like that I will try it probably eventually, but as of right now, I actually want to make a Rengar of my own. The Rengar that I make as of right now is that you max the E first, actually. It scales pretty well when you level it. It does have a nice slow, and depending on who it is, you can E them and then walk up in Q. So you can do it with um, about three stacks. Uh, throw the E, give yourself a four, get this walk up. You can even W and then get a Q or walk up enough if you're braver. Q and then Q again, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Um, now, what I do with Rengar also, people, when they first came out, they had a problem. They didn't know when to get his um, his snowball item. The best time to get his snowball item is when he's ahead or when he has the items necessary to get ahead. Now, you don't, yeah, like, like, like touching on that, you don't really necessarily need to be that far ahead to get the snowball item, but get it after getting a couple items if you're not dominating. I know I'm dominating. I'm three and O. Oh. I don't have too much CS. Ramus DCs. That sucks. Um, I know we were like worried about. I think we were really concerned about where Ramus was, but he DCs. That sucks. But that doesn't matter because I'm just here for my Mufasa kill. I actually have a better um, Mufasa kill, and I have. To, I want to upload it once they fix the low replay thing. Hopefully they do, because I have a really really great uh, new meta Monday that we did. And I really, really want to cast that game. I just didn't know that we didn't have time. Now I'm going to come here. Boom, boom. Easy. So I'm basically feeding off Nautilus. Nautilus at this point shouldn't come into lane. Your laner, when your lane person's ahead that far ahead, you kind of don't want to um, come into lane. You're going to give them free kills. And I'm just going to get my CS also. No reason for me to take this tower. It can't contest. Ramus is back, so that's good. No DCs. Now... Now we have a, a Juf in the back. They didn't ward their tribush, so it's going to come as a really unsuspecting gank. Gets a thing. Hopefully gets a rupture here. No one's in position really to follow up. They haven't even reached level 6 yet, but once they both do, it will be pretty fearsome down there in bot lane. Everyone's trying to get the CS, and it's not even 10 minutes yet, so that's crazy. And it is pretty bad that the high CS on our team is Cho'Gath, who is the jungler, not even the people in the lanes. Um, Ramus is behind because of his DC. He's trying to... I don't know. What is he doing? That's... that's That was insane. But now we do see him. Um, so... It might be a collapse, maybe. No, not a collapse. Does get hit by a little trap there. And then we have here, we have good old... But I'm going to just E poke him. That's how much the E does. Do I have a Brutalizer right now? No, I don't. The E actually does a lot of damage. If you did not know, he doesn't have armor, but usually what I do is if I don't have this many kills, I'll get a Brutalizer, and the E will start doing damage. That's a double poke. Same thing with the W. You can just maybe double double hit them with it, and it does a lot of damage. And It's, it's the same actual idea, but the problem is that at least all your other moves are still effective. I know you need the Lynchbane for your other moves to be that effective. Now, Katarina is going to come here. She shows herself, and it forces me to back up. I think I always tease my people when they don't call Mia. Um, and stuff. So what they're actually gonna do here is that they feel that he's far behind. Maokai really isn't doing much. So what they're gonna do is that they're gonna put Nautilus against our uh, Para here, and they're gonna try to switch lane, which I think is a really, really smart idea. Because um, when she comes in the lane, she's actually the same level as me, because she's been doing okay in lane. She has almost as much CS as I do. She's has a kill. I have four kills, but 
Money wise, me versus Katarina. Um, it's about a thousand gold. But once she gets her little hex deck revolver, which she has, she's gonna be doing okay. Um, I have enough to get the brutalizer, and I actually no, I go for a phage. I th I think what I try to do here, if you see me anyone get a phage or anything like that, I'm just gonna rush the 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 Trinity Force here. And when I mean rush, I don't even get my my tier two boots. I legitly just rush the t uh, the the Trinity Force. Um, cause I just want to get it as quick as possible. Um, especially with the lane switches and things like that, it might not even be best to like dedicate a boot. Sometimes when you want to get boots, the best thing to do is to legitly just look at your other person's team comp. It looks right now, I would definitely need Berkshire as a little bit of magic resist for Katarina. Um, tenacity to get out of Ramus, Ash, um, Nautilus Slow, and a Sona Alt. Like, they have a lot of CC. So even if anything, uh, Merc Treads would just basically be the ideal boots for me. Merc Treads is just for me. So, now I'm going to see here that now Katarina is in my lane. She's the one that is the chosen one. Now, like I said, she is pretty strong. The only way I can stop her ult is if I have a max 5 here and I save it for that. But then I really won't be able to harass and things of that nature. Same thing with... uh. When I use Annie, sometimes I don't like purposely saving this the extra stack. And I didn't see the gank here like an idiot, so I walked back for a sec. Oh, no, no, no. I actually DC'd. And he gets so mad at me because I DC'd. Because, um, he gets the kill pretty clean without me anyway. I actually DC'd because I was walking back for a second, DC'd, and then I just walked back completely. So it looks, it looks really bad. It's like, I don't even want kills, bro. Um, I don't know if I got the assist for that. I think I did. So, with Rengar, like I said, it doesn't even matter. Um, so right now I got two stacks on it. So yeah, I got the assist for that. That's fine. As a Rengar, you don't even need the kills. You just need stacks. Once you get three stacks on this thing, you're bad. Like, like it's 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 pretty hard. Because he gets 5% cooldown reduction and 10% armor penetration. Now, the armor pen is all nice and good and all, and it's pretty cute. La 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 la. But that CDR is monstrous it really is it just helps him flow better now gets the ult here he's gonna start doing a nice ult by Sona yeah Ash should actually turn and burn Sona gets the kill because Ash I think was going back a little bit too far Sona's man they've been doing work lately a lot of work have been doing by Sona's and it's honestly it's probably just because of the upfront damage. Now we have another gank. They still haven't warded their tri bush, so they can't constantly gonna just get ganked here. Caitlyn, they both have armor. I mean, not armor, alts. Gonna get a nice little thing. The double shot. Not worth it to burn the alt there. Might as well keep it. She has a little bit too much health and can heal herself. So not worth it to really do it there. Sona is going support, so she doesn't have. She has some AP, but not enough to really do anything. Cho'Gath has Oracle, so even maybe if they did have that warded, their ward is now gone. And and I think, uh, I remember Ursa complaining about that, that he just wasn't getting any, like, wards. They weren't really warding. So he puts a decent amount of damage here on me. And he does a little ult there. But he does it in place, because I, I throw my thing on it. So now it's a little sucky here, like, like AP. But I can just poke her down. He, she can poke me too, but... At least I can heal more efficiently than she can. I, my heal is a lot better. Because she does come in here. I don't have any MR. She has a uh, magic pen, which just gives you 20, right? 20 magic pen. My MR currently is 49. So I about 29 on her moves. So that's pretty strong. And when there's no one around you with Rengar, no matter if you're going AP or not, you just pop the heal. You shall get all your stacks back, no problem. Now she went back, she got two wards, and right now I haven't gone back yet, so how much money am I stacking? Um, 1200 just about, so I'll go back when I when I really need to. Don't remember when the hell the Mufasa kill is, um, but they're all here. Nautilus, now that he's mid against Para, he's only two level difference. Gets the hit, so comes out a little bit differently. He's actually, oh, gets popped into the turret. Gets another CC on the turret. If has to flash out, pretty good flash. Rams is coming. He's going to get the hit here. And he's going to make him kill himself. Poor, poor pitiful para. 
But that does suck. Ramus does have a double CC if he gets that close to you. Pretty amazing. Um, I'll see what he's maxing later. Like I said, I maxed my E. I actually might change it to maxing, putting a couple points in E and then switching. So I go in here, get the double. And another E. She starts doing damage to me and then I realize what the hell am I doing. I'm killing her. Um, I'm really far ahead. Uh, now I get my third stack. Now the item is amazing. Really a good item at this point. I didn't go back and I get in. I didn't get anything. I actually didn't go back yet, so I still stayed in lane. Ramps is gonna come here. He's gonna pop me, but I pop my my thing in now. He's gonna have to eat a couple shots here. Now I'm gonna come here, get my six. I'm gonna jump on him and throw the E. Two Qs. Like you don't need to level the Q. The damage on it is isn't that really impressive. So what happens is when I when people I double double Q and then throw an E. Like, if you're not dead at that point, you're still slow to hell. Um, like, really, really badly. And then I can just follow up. And if you do double Qs, your attack speed is amazing. Um, so, I will come and just kill you. It, it's really, really easy to do so. Um, now we got Katarina here, and we have Cho coming to take out the ward. Denying the vision. A, a jungler with uh, oracles is so annoying. You just let them know. I think they might have wards. Come to help. I didn't have to do it here, but you just make it feel as useless as possible. Easy hit ups. No one's dodging anything. That's gonna be a yum yum num 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 num. No para gets to kill there. Let me see what he's actually maxing as Maokai for people inspiring Maokai users. He actually levels up the bailing here. The bailing actually doesn't do too much. The explosion on, however, does a decent amount of damage. But he's going for really weird uh spam build uh, what's the cooldown on the thing 11 seconds on the sapling toss 12 seconds on that oh my god hold on let me a lot of large cooldowns except the arcane smash which seems to have a pretty decent damage at level three and oh they also get slowed mm. might want to level that up yeah look at that that's a pretty good slow but he's gonna get taunted here and this is gonna be an instant death here she actually stops the thing i don't know why she stopped it she could have just got it with her ult, but whatever. Leveling up that Shumpo after maxing the Q. Now me and Rengar are here. So if she gets hit with the Q here, dodges it. So like I said, you, there's not you can do after that. The double CC on that is basically... I get ulted here. That sucks. People suck. Not all alt, stupid. But, um... Yes, that's right. I actually usually hate on any champ that is doing good when I'm not playing them. Hate, 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 hate. That's how it's supposed to go. Um, now I'm 7-0. and um, I have the Sheen, um, which is going to really help me out in the damage department. Especially with the double Qs. I mean, you only get one Q proc with the Sheen. The other Q won't really be counted because it's a two-second cooldown. But, even so, it is pretty deep how strong that, that dunk's going to be. Now, what's important to note, once you do get a, a decent amount of um, CDR, especially with his ult, they might nerf this, I'm, I'm pretty sure. His ult, his last ult cooldown, once it's on his last leg, like it's, it's uh, when it's leveled to the third, it's ridiculous. It's like 40 seconds or something like that. So you can literally burn it and just go assassinate people all day long. Like even 80 seconds, like a little bit over a minute, plus a little bit with some cooldown. Like I don't have a brutalizer right now. But that's pretty strong. And another thing I love about Rengar is he drops towers like a beast. You can Q the towers if you didn't know. So it just, it really, really, like, destroys towers really quickly. Like, he might be the backdoor king because he can legitly just stealth. He can legitly just stealth, uh, like, stealth through a team and then just go on the other side and then just do some work. I see Katarina here. I'm two levels above her. She doesn't really have any items to do that much damage to me. But me being that far extended is being dick mode. Now we got Ramus basically diving, but he's diving so perfectly. Like, he's not even in the tower range. Pretty good stuff by Ramus there. Now, they're sitting here engaging. A lot of nonsense is going on. They have wards up. Uh, Cho'Gath still has the Oracle. He's chasing down Ramus, but you're not going to really get Ramus. Not really. So, here we go. He's going to get engaged on here by Nautilus. That's a decent amount of damage, but it's not really going to do much of anything. Uh, Ramus is running his life away, and he's going to get away here. 
Now I'm sitting here being a dick this whole time. I'm waiting for Katarina to start feeling comfortable until she walks up into the thing. Now I walk out at the wrong time when I actually could have done something there. Pretty damn unfortunate. Now we could here and oh, we got a nice engage. Best thing about Makai's all. Oh. oh my god, that she wasn't. I don't even think she was aiming for that person. But like I said, most of the time when you get uh, penta kills and quadra kills, it's, it's usually a. Uh, Pretty unfair looking. And this is looking pretty free. Free in the place to be. Now, as we see Caitlyn there, uh, trying to engage them on there. I'm sneaking around. Actually, look at that moonwalking right there. You guys saw that. In the upper left, you might need to rewind it. A little moonwalk there. I've seen that happen in League a decent amount of times, though. It's really funny, but it's also like... Sitting here trying to take some CS. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, and I messed up my Q. Ash Arrow. Dick mode. Uh, Malphite, uh, being a little cocky there, but with the Q, he might get away, so wastes Kater Katarina's ult there. Or not our ult, our, our ignite. Basically for free, which is dope. Wasting ults is dope. Now, I'm 131 CS, almost equal to Caitlyn there. Um, around this minimum mark, could still have a little bit more, I know that much. Um, but I do have 7 kills to back that up, so... You know, why last hit Crease when you can last hit Champs? Just saying. Um, so, what I'm going to do around here, just going to go farm. Um, there's a big wave up top, and there's nothing wrong with getting big waves. And further extending your advantage, that is... I think that should be the, besides farming, like, control of your advantage. That is, like, the best and biggest thing you need to do. Gets, actually kills, uh, Caitlyn there. Now he's gonna sit here and engage, but he's going on the wrong person. Now he's gonna meet up with Ash. And Sona is on a killing spree, which is so sad, because it actually, Ash has three assists and three deaths, while Sona has three deaths and absolutely no assists. Sona is hard carrying the bot laner right now, which is actually kind of funny, not gonna lie. That's really unfortunate. Let me know, leave an actual a comment uh, below if you've ever been a support and you had to actually carry your AD carry. Isn't that, doesn't that make you scared? Oh my god. Or leave a comment when you're fucking Cho'Gath and you start raping everything because you're a big ass Zerg bug thing. He just constantly, he's going to get another rupture. A nice dodge by Sona there. His cooldowns are pretty short. She's trying to go for the juke, but it's not going to be a successful juke. The range of the rupture is pretty good. She's ducking herself into a corner here. She has to flash there. There's nowhere she's going to go. She could have do backwards. Ram is going to come here with a save. Gets it successfully, but uh, Sona's going to die. There you go. Now Ram is, is going to still die here. It's ironic. He, like, he just ate uh, Caitlyn. He's almost going to get his uh, ult up again. A free dragon here. This is our first dragon, unfortunately, of the whole time. Now, here, I was just pushing the whole time. I have on 164 CS now. And uh, I just pushed like a Diog. And we're taking mid tower. And then. And purple team. I love. I actually love when they say, Purple team has slain Baron Ashor. Purple team is slain the dragon. Purple team's raping blue team. Like I just wish like like there was more stuff for her to say. Like, oh, it'd be so funny. I do like the voice though. Um So what do we have here? I'm just chilling here in the Lizane. Uh we got Kate I'm about to say Caitlyn. Uh, oh my god, Ash Arrow. Annoying. I'm gonna flash away and pop my ult. I don't really wanna deal with both of them. I'm gonna come here, try to get some C up. Get one kill here. Oh my god, people are dangerous. Oh, people are scary and dangerous. Oh my god. You guys thought that was the pentakill, didn't uh, the, the quadrakill, right? Oh, no, it's not. That's too much CC. Too much CC. AP Rengar could have done it. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> well, I'm AD and I'm in the place to be. Uh, doing it legitly. So now we're pushing down these turrets. We are doing the best that we can. I'm going to spawn back in about 20 seconds, you know, got to do my just duties. But now, like I said, I wanted to Merc Trends and I rushed my Trinity Force. I have 
Where am I? I'm not, I'm not popped out yet. I know, I'll let you guys know how dangerous. A nice thing by blue team, but unfortunately it's not really going to help them here because we're farther ahead than they are. We have a nice 10,000 gold lead, you know, standard in uh, draft games. Someone is doing work. She was all up in that. Legit. Look at Caitlyn with that moon slide. Look at that. They're all backing up here. And I do respond. Let me see. I actually have five. I think, what is it? Six? Six once you get that additional movement speed. That additional movement speed makes things ten, so unfair. It is a snowball item, so of course, you uh, that's how you want it to work. So you just want to be rewarded for doing good. Um, the best thing about it, it doesn't really, like, you don't lose half of the stacks, which would have been ridiculous. You only lose one on death. So as long as you're just being effective in a team, you will get your little stacks, and that's perfect. Everyone's going back right now, so everyone's just getting to see us. I'm about to almost hit that 200. Uh, Caitlyn is 153, which is pretty good. Our Caitlyn has a Bloodthirster and a Zeal. Meanwhile, Ash has, she's still trying to rush the IE. So I get one kill here, get a double kill there. I will rewind it just to show you guys exactly how it goes. Unfortunately, triple kill. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, I'm so mad. The reason why I'm so mad is that there's a damn kill somewhere that I can't get to. There's a kill that I can't get to. I'm gonna we're gonna rewind it a little bit. I know I went I skipped a little bit too far. Oh, uh, uh, rewind OP. Wait, 25. That's a couple of seconds in. Oh my god. I'm such a fail. I, I gotta be patient. It's time to be patient. Alright. I like the. I think the best thing about Quadra and Pentras is that you see exactly how they were made. Um, so it's not like, oh, I got a pentakill. Like the person usually get a pentakill unless they have like a dumb shit AOE. Now I'm gonna stop it right here. Um, actually gonna rewind it like a second. There we go. Oh my god. Uh There we go. Alright, I'm gonna slow it down properly now. I think what starts the fight is an ash arrow from a distance. What's gonna happen is that everyone's gonna formulate on mid. Now we see the engage by Paragon is gonna engage. We want a free kill here. I'm all the way back here. But I'm going to pop my stealth. I'm popping my stealth to get into this fight. We have vision on one of them. Which is Ash that's about to come through here. And, and Katarina is going to come. So Ash is probably going to see the fight and immediately throw her arrow. That's the best thing that she can do. Engage on Ramus. We have a miss rupture here. So as soon as Caitlyn come, Katarina comes into the battle, I instantly go for her double Q's. Now she's going to try to pop her ult here, but luckily for us we have a Maokai, so he's going to mitigate some of the damage. So once you get double Q there, th 352, I do have the Trinity Force, and I also have a Last Whisper. <laughs> That's going to hurt like hell. Now once I get the 6 stack, I do have movement speed boost, so I'm going to be able to clean up even further. Now I notice that I get that kill. Now, Ash Arrow is not going to hit me. It is going to slow me partially, but don't take too much damage from that. Like I said, then throw the E on him, and that's going to slow him down. He throws a blind ult. He's just hoping to get something with it. Cooldown on my E is going to come off, but I'm just going to normally Q him there. That's another Q. Now, my E, like I said, is all cooldown. Throw the E. Does some damage. Gives me my fifth stack. And then double Q. And then another Q, and then like I said, the attack speed buff on that is amazing. So that's how you get that ace. And then I die with my Mufasa kill. Mufasa kill. Uh.
Look at this guy. I did it for the people. I did it. I have no regrets. No, 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 no. This is Rengar time, baby. Because after that, we get a damn surrender. Piece of craps. Don't want to play no games. Maokai in the building. Chuck that shit. Mmm. Malphite taking down turrets. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be a part of these replays and overall the fun that we have here on the stream, just come to twitch.tv slash Cash Bryant where all the great and gloriness happens. Oh, yeah. Delayed, baby. And that is a what? Tell me, lady, what is that? It's a damn victory. Thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy. Please follow. Subscribe to the Facebooks, the Twitters, the YouTube, the YouTube of the Twitters, the, the stream of the YouTube of the Facebook. This is Cash Bryant speaking to you guys. Come get nice TV. Have a good ass day and share and tell a friend. Bam, bam, bam.